Hello everyone, you are watching Sahab Academy and if you are here to get your topic simplified then believe me you are in right place. So let's start the video and let's get on with it. Welcome back everyone to rectification of errors chapter. Today in the second video we are going to start with the practical part of this chapter and we are going to see how we have to study this chapter okay we are not going to do in a usual way what other teachers are doing we are going to follow a completely different way and that way is going to be a very easy and simple for you fine so before going ahead with this video let me just recap what we have done in the first video see in the first video in the beginning we started with the prerequisite skills that are required for this chapter you must know and have complete understanding of bookkeeping that is the step from journal to trial balance and then you must have commands on debits and credits you should know modern rules of you know debit and credit yes modern rules and then the dealer classification you remember the dealer classification you should be able to categorize each and everything into these six categories and know the balance they have and what rules to apply on them and then you should be able to record anything and reverse anything yeah fine and the accounting language is also very important that's what i explained to you and then we moved on to the concept of suspense account what is suspense account when it comes into the picture right and what is the purpose of it and then what we have to do with it everything we have discussed and then we understood what is an error and we compared that with the fraud okay and then we discussed the different types of errors but i told you this is just the theory part okay this is just a theory part we are not going to focus mainly on this when we will do the rectification actual practical question this is not that much important except that when there is complete omission you will just record that transaction that's all fine and then we discussed about different stages of detection of errors and their rectification yeah at which stage the errors can be detected and how our approach to them will be different in rectification so we have we had three different cases before trial balance after trial balance and then next accounting period okay so that's all we discussed in the previous video and of course it was in very detail and depth so if you haven't watched that then i would recommend you please watch that and then come back to this video is that okay so now let's get back to this video now to understand how to solve the questions of rectification first what are we going to do is we are going to focus on these two categories recorded entered past posted debited credited i know you people must be wondering what is this classification it's not there in the study material what is the basis of this classification see here it's very simple if you go right now in the study material and see the questions over there you will find in most of the errors here yeah, in the transaction in the questions you will find these terms are there recorded entered past posted debited credited isn't it yes so on that basis on the basis of question this category has been made yeah this categorization has been made so let's understand this category first and then we'll move on to this category okay so where do we use these terms recorded entered and passed in accounting you all know we use this in the step of journal or subsidiary books isn't it pass the journal entry yeah enter the transaction into subsidiary books record that in the subsidiary books isn't it so whenever the question says recorded entered past you have to understand they are talking about the area of subsidiary books the error is in the subsidiary books is that clear that's the interpretation of those terms recorded entered past so what happens in subsidiary books initial recording and if there is an error in the initial recording recording then that means entire transaction is wrongly recorded there is a whole mistake yeah everything is wrong entire transaction is wrongly recorded so for this sort of transaction yeah for this sort of error we have a trick okay we'll see that trick and then let's come to this category posted debited credited what does this mean where do we use these terms we use these terms where in the ledger accounts isn't it because in ledger accounts we have sites debit side credit side isn't it in subsidiary books we don't have site we cannot use these terms posted debited credited in subsidiary books let me just show you see here this example of you know purchase book we have purchase book over here so is there any side over here just the amount column is there periodic total is there 
yeah and the entries are there right so this is the purchase book there is no site you cannot use the term like debited creditor posted over here those terms will be used in the ledger accounts in the t accounts because here you have a debit side and a credit side is that clear you cannot use the word recorded entered yeah passed over here in the ledger accounts no those are for subsidiary books those terms is that clear but this posted debited credited these terms are for the ledger accounts okay yes but then there is one exception let me tell you that right now itself you know cash book cash book is something else cash book is not only the subsidiary book yeah not only the subsidiary book but also the ledger account isn't it see here let's talk about triple column cash book which has cash column bank column and the discount column yeah two columns will be there of discount uh, one is discount allowed on the debit side and another on the credit side that is discount received yeah so here what happens there is an exception over here the cash column of the cash book is equal to cash account ledger account bank column of the cash book is equal to bank account if you are preparing a cash book with cash and bank column then you need not prepare separate ledger account of cash or separate ledger account of bank is that clear yes but with discount column it's not like that discount column is separate discount allowed ledger account is separate both things will be there separately okay and all of this also these are subsidiary books purchase book sales book and all these yeah subsidiary books and ledger accounts will be there separately purchase book is not equal to purchase account sales book not equal to sales account is that clear yes so you know that now so that's what i was saying and one more thing you have to understand regarding this category is that whenever they say posted debited credited that means mistake is in specific account because that transaction has been recorded properly entered and passed properly but but you know posted debited and credited wrongly that means mistake is there in specific ledger account is that clear that's the interpretation of this so posted debited credited words are used for this area ledger account area mistake is in this area and in specific account and for this category there are no tricks available you have to follow the conventional way now you will ask what is the conventional way see conventional way is really simple see here conventional way means like this uh, conventional way you can use for all the errors okay but it will take lots of time so we need some tricks and techniques to rectify the errors we cannot always use this okay so what do we do over here correct entry wrong entry and rectification entry okay first we'll pass the correct entry of the transaction and then we'll pass the wrong entry read the question properly and pass the exact wrong entry what they are saying in that error yeah and then you will compare that and see what effect you have to give and what effect you have to reverse and that would be the rectification entry rectify the account where mistake exist yeah so the examples of this category posted debited credited would be see here repairs made were debited to building account for 1000 now see whenever you will solve the questions of rectification what you have to do is always read the transaction yeah read the error in two parts always read it in two parts repairs made yeah repairs made this is the first part okay were debited to building account you see two parts you have to see repairs made means what what is the general entry repairs account to cash yeah were debited to building account were debited to building account that means what you have debited the building account building account debit to cash so the effect has gone correctly in the cash book yeah the effect has gone correctly in the cash book but 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 in the repairs account the effect has not come yeah because you have taken the building account is that clear yes so that's the idea we'll see this you know we'll have separate video of for this category yeah and we will discuss all the errors but here i just wanted to show you some examples of this category yeah what are the examples of this category see here this is the first example repairs made were debited they are saying debited this is the keyword okay debited so you have to understand it's falling in this category so i have to use the conventional way i have no tricks available okay the second example see here rupees 2000 received from akash so this is the first part i told you the universal tip you can say 
is this will be applicable everywhere in the entire rectification of error chapter always read the sentence yeah read the transaction the error in two parts the correct part and the wrong part rupees 2000 received from akash this is the correct part sorry cash account debit to akash yeah 2000 2000 that's the entry for this correct part have been credited to avinash have been credited to avinash so what is the wrong entry exactly you have to pass the wrong entry in this okay what is the wrong entry credited they said right credited to avinash so what has happened cash account debit to avinash akash name has not come avinash name has come credited to avinash na so credit the avinash account that's the wrong entry cash account debit to avinash is that clear yes next transaction goods bought from harshita of 1500 was posted to credit of her account as 2000 you see again here the term came the keyword posted so this way you have to understand you have got this category is that clear yes now what was i saying regarding that cash book i did not explain you completely regarding that yeah i told that cash column is equal to cash account and bank column is equal to bank account yeah same thing so that is why that is why you know recorded entered past these words can be used for cash book yeah for cash book these terms can also be used and these terms will also be used because because cash and bank column these are equal to the ledger accounts yeah these terms are for subsidiary books these terms are for ledger account but the cash book cash column and bank column in the cash book they are equal to their ledger accounts yeah so that is why both of these terms will be used but don't worry don't worry we'll solve the errors of you know we'll solve a question with those errors also and it will be very easy it's not difficult at all okay don't worry about that fine and then let's come to the first category now see here the first category has two types of error homogeneous error and heterogeneous error so whenever you will see these terms in the question recorded entered past immediately you have to understand you have got this category yeah that specific transaction that specific error and then immediately you need to classify that transaction into one of these two errors whether it is homogeneous or heterogeneous now you'll wonder what is this homogeneous and heterogeneous see it's really simple it is said to be a homogeneous error when debit goes into debit or credit goes into credit now you will say please give us example we do not understand anything see it's simple for example purchase goods from ajay was wrongly recorded in sales return book understand this was a purchase transaction we have purchased goods from ajay okay on credit so this transaction was supposed to go in purchase book yeah purchase book which affects the purchase account and it has debit balance right but what happened what happened read the sentence in two parts always remember that's the universal tip purchase goods from ajay was wrongly recorded in sales return book wrongly recorded in sales return book so sales return book it was recorded in sales return book wrongly recorded sales return book effect goes to sales return account and sales return account has debit balance so you see this error what has happened in this error debit which was supposed to go into debit has gone into another debit a transaction which was supposed to go into purchase book has gone into sales return book which balance does the purchase book has debit balance which balance does the sales return book has debit balance of course the books doesn't have the balance their account has the balance but you know in the normal language when we will solve the problems and all for the shortcut and the trick purpose we will say it like that okay so purchase book has debit balance yeah so debit has gone into debit debit has gone into debit so this error is called as what recorded keyword has come and debit has gone into debit so that means we have got homogeneous error is that clear let's take another example let's say you made a sale okay which was supposed to be recorded in sales book but it was wrongly recorded in bills payable book so what happened over here credit has gone into credit another example let's say you made a transaction of bill receivable 
which was supposed to be recorded in bill, bill receivable book but you recorded in purchase book so what will happen debit has gone into debit that means it is homogeneous error so when it will be homogeneous error it's very simple this word should come these keywords recorded entered passed and the you know error should be like this it should happen in the same category see a debit has gone into debit yeah in same boundary you can say credit has gone into credit like that yeah the transaction which was supposed to be recorded in purchase book it was recorded in the sales return book both of them have debit balances is that clear like that so these sort of errors are called as homogeneous errors and we have two steps to rectify them we'll see that don't worry now let's see heterogeneous errors now it's really simple it's exactly opposite to homogeneous here what happens is here what happens is debit has gone into credit or credit has gone into debit what happens opposite debit has gone into credit from one boundary to different boundary okay credit has gone to debit or debit has gone into credit is that clear for example let's take an example sold goods to freddy okay on credit was wrongly recorded in purchases book always remember universal tip read the error the transaction in two parts the correct part and the wrong part sold goods to freddy that's the correct part was wrongly recorded in purchases book see here a transaction of sale to freddy which is supposed to be recorded in sales book you know sales book sales account credit balance was recorded where it was recorded in purchase book sales book has credit balance and it was recorded in purchase book which has debit balance so credit has gone into debit credit has gone into debit is that clear let's take another example let's say a transaction of sales return was recorded in purchase return book sales return book has debit balance purchase return book has credit balance so a transaction which was supposed to go over here has went over here so debit has gone into credit or it can also happen credit has gone into debit okay a transaction of purchase return has been recorded in sales return book credit has gone into debit okay different boundary from one boundary the transaction is jumping into another boundary okay so these sort of transaction where credit goes into debit or debit goes into credit these sort of errors are called as heterogeneous errors sold goods to freddy was wrongly recorded in purchase book how will you do this in your mind when you will see the transaction immediately identify the keyword recorded so this category yeah recorded this category the first category and then i understand sold sold means what credit balance yeah sales has credit balance purchases has debit balance so credit has gone into debit like this you have to identify see in this example in homogeneous how you have to identify what is the keyword the keyword is recorded it is not posted debited and all if there was posted then there was something else it was something else but here recorded word has come so that's the keyword which gives us the you know idea that it is the first category okay homogeneous or heterogeneous really simple see the balances purchased debit balance okay sales return sales return means debit balance yeah so debit has gone into debit so it is homogeneous error is that clear this way you have to do so heterogeneous has one more step to rectify here there are three steps here there are two steps now let's go to a practical example of homogeneous okay and we'll see the steps also and we'll see many examples and we'll rectify the errors now here we are going to see six examples of homogeneous error and rectify them but first let's just see the steps see here the steps are very simple these are the two steps that you have to follow record what is right reverse what is wrong that's it and you will get the rectification entry okay so let's start with the first transaction and we'll see how this will be applied but before that let's just see this transaction with the conventional simple method okay correct entry wrong entry rectifying entry because i want to give you the proof of this trick that this trick works okay so let's just solve first with the conventional method so see here what is the correct entry of this transaction now which transaction is this read this purchase goods from ajay was wrongly recorded in sales return book 2000 the keyword is recorded that same transaction which was there in the previous slide yeah that keyword is recorded and then purchase and sales return debit has gone into debit debit has gone into debit so homogeneous error yes yeah 
so let's solve this first with this conventional method so in conventional method what we do we first pass the correct entry and then we read the question exactly and we see what they have done and we pass the wrong entry and then compare this and we give the rectification entry right we pass the rectification entry now let's pass the correct entry so purchase goods from ajay so what is the entry simple purchase account to ajay yeah i don't need to teach you this you already know this right now what's the wrong entry wrong entry see here always read the question in two parts purchase goods from ajay that was the correct part the wrong part was see here was wrongly recorded in sales return book so what is the entry of sales return what kind of balance does the sales return has debit balance so whenever sales return increases you have to debit that sales return account debit yeah who returned the goods ajay right i mean in that wrong transaction that wrong treatment that's the thinking right so to ajay account 2000 2000 is that clear this is the entry they have passed now you will wonder sir here they are talking about subsidiary books so entry has not been passed like this yes that's what i have been explaining to you in the previous videos of subsidiary books that that you know in subsidiary books this sort of entry will not pass will be passed in the in the you know purchase book in the sales return book but the same effect will be there in the purchase book in the purchase book if you write yeah see here let's just say here vishnu name is not there ajay name is there okay ajay account so that means the same effect will be there the effect of this entry purchase account to ajay and this entry let's just say ajay is there over here the effect is same the accounting effect of both is same only okay right so this was a wrong entry sales return account debit to ajay now understand compare these two entries correct entry and wrong entry what has been right ajay account has been credited correctly isn't it to ajay to ajay that is correct what is wrong sales return is wrong isn't it it was supposed to be purchase account and here they have you know debited sales return account yeah it was supposed to be purchase account so rectification entry how you will pass the rectification entry simple you will you know debit the purchase account because it has not been debited yeah it has not been debited you will debit the purchase account and then and then whatever that has been recorded in sales return on that 2000 you will reverse that yeah you will cancel that how you will do that it's really simple see here sales return sales return has debit balance to cancel that debit you have to make an equal credit to sales return and it will be cancelled out so this will be the rectification entry yeah purchase account debit 2000 to sales return is that clear this will be the rectification entry yeah but now let's do this with the homogeneous trick yeah how you will do really simple see here let me show you purchase goods from ajay was wrongly recorded in sales return book the keyword is recorded purchase has debit balance sales return has debit balance debit has gone into debit so record what is right record what is right so what you will do purchase account debit because purchase is right now so record what is right purchase account debit 2000 reverse what is wrong sales return is wrong to sales return account 2000 you see sales return has debit balance to reverse that you will credit that is that clear you will not take ajay account why is that because ajay has gone correctly now see here ajay has gone correctly see the correct entry in correct entry also ajay is getting credited in wrong entry also ajay has been credited ajay's account is credited so in rectification entry ajay account will not come okay it is correctly done okay so this trick will work over here record what is right what is right this purchase is right record what is right how do you record purchase understand this thing you have to understand how will you record purchase by debiting it because purchase account has debit balance it's an expense to record that you have to debit okay and then sales return is opposite to sales so it has debit balance okay so to cancel that to decrease that to reverse that you will do opposite you will do credit yeah so to sales return account is that clear let's see another transaction you will understand you will get the idea how to do this it's really simple it's not difficult let me just throw this see here second transaction sold goods to chetra 500 was recorded as purchase return so how you have to do what is the keyword is it posted debited credited no it is recorded okay recorded first category is it homogeneous or heterogeneous it is homogeneous because see here sold sale account credit balance purchase return 
purchase return which balance do you know purchase return has which balance credit balance purchase return credit balance so credit has gone into credit this is a homogeneous error so if it is a homogeneous error then what you will do record what is right what is right what is right always read the question in two parts sold goods to chetra this is the correct part sales is correct sales is right so you know record the sales record what is right how will you record the sales sales has credit balance to record that i have to credit that to sales account i will do 500 isn't it sales has credit balance yeah it's revenue to record that i will credit that and then what is wrong over here the wrong is purchase return yeah wrong is purchase return so i will reverse that reverse what is wrong so purchase return has credit balance to reverse i will debit is that clear this is the way methodology you have to follow is that clear yes let's see another another transaction see the third transaction sales return which has debit balance from danish okay this is the correct part was recorded as purchase of 800 what happened over here understand properly a transaction happened sale return which was supposed to be recorded in sales return book but it was recorded in purchase book as they are saying it was recorded as purchase yeah so the keyword is recorded first category sales has you know sales return has debit balance purchase has debit balance debit has gone into debit this is homogeneous error so the two steps you have to follow record what is right what is right in this transaction sales return is right what is the correct thing you over here sales return so how will you record the sales return which balance does the sales return has to record anything you have to see to reverse anything you have to see what you have to see the balance what kind of balance they have sales return has debit balance to record that i will debit that sales return account 800 purchase account is wrong which balance does it has it has debit balance so to reverse that i will do opposite i will credit to purchase account 800 record what is right reverse what is wrong is that clear it's that simple man it's that simple it's not difficult record what is right reverse what is wrong let's see another fourth transaction goods returned to fahad now understand properly okay here they are not telling you directly whether it is purchase return or sales return don't get confused over here goods return to fahad that means we are returning so it will be purchase return yeah goods returned to fahad means we are returning goods returned by fahad if by term is used by word is used then you have to understand that is sales return fahad is returning to us yeah here we are returning goods returned to fahad to fahad so this is purchase return okay so which has credit balance entered in sales book 400 entered means this is which category first category recorded entered past first category in sales book 400 sales book has which balance sales account which has which balance credit balance credit has gone into credit credit has gone into credit homogeneous homogeneous means these two steps record what is right reverse what is wrong what is right over here purchase return is right so record that purchase return has credit balance to record that you will credit that to purchase return 400 and then reverse what is wrong what is wrong sales is wrong over here which has credit balance to reverse that you will debit that sales account debit 400 easy see that's simple it's simple okay next fifth transaction discount rupees 200 received from rajiv now what is discount received discount received is an income always remember discount received is revenue income it has credit balance okay discount allowed is an expense we are giving the discount if we are getting the discount then that is income and it has credit balance okay so discount received from rajiv was recorded as commission received now what is happening over here here see what is happening understand properly discount has credit balance this discount received Commission received is also an income. So that also has credit balance. So credit has been treated as a credit. Another credit, yeah. Credit has gone into credit. So it is a homogeneous error. Yeah, it seemed little bit confusing, isn't it? It seemed little bit confusing, which is really simple. Credit has gone into credit. The keyword is recorded. So it is first category. Simple as that. Okay. So how will you do this? Simple. 
discount received has credit balance you have to record that to discount received by crediting it you will record that 200 and then how you will reverse what you will reverse whatever that is wrong commission received is wrong it's not correct see two parts always remember two parts you have to read the transaction in two parts discount received from Rajiv was recorded as commission received fine so the wrong part is commission received so reverse the commission received which has credit balance by debiting it commission received account debit 200 is that clear yes and then we have six transactions see here bad debts of 500 to be written off from Mahesh account were recorded as discount allowed now see it's really simple it's not difficult what are bad debts bad debts are lost to us it's an expense invisible expense okay so expense has which balance expenses have debit balance right so bad debts of 500 happened from Mahesh account okay fine but what did we do what happened actually were recorded as discount allowed oh that's completely messed up bad debts happened and you recorded that as discount allowed so discount allowed is also an expense this is also an expense expense has debit balance this expense also discount allowed also has debit balance so debit has gone into debit and the keyword is recorded first category and homogeneous two steps follow the two steps record what is right bad debts this is right record that how will you record debit balance means to record i will debit it debit balance means to record that item i will debit that so bad debts account debit 500 and then what do i have to reverse i have to reverse discount allowed yeah the wrong treatment which i did earlier so to reverse this i will credit that isn't it discount allowed has debit balance to reverse that i will have to credit that to discount allowed account 500 easy so this way you have to solve the errors of homogeneous category first category and homogeneous whenever the you know the terms are used recorded entered passed in the questions and then you see that debit has gone into debit or credit has gone into credit yeah in the same boundary it is jumping in the same boundary then that is homogeneous to correct the homogeneous the simple step that you have to follow two steps is record what is right reverse what is wrong but you cannot do this correctly you cannot do this correctly if you cannot classify the items into these categories into that dealer classification DEA LER you should be able to classify the items into this category and know what kind of balance do they have then only you will be able to you know record something reverse something otherwise you cannot okay so that is why you have to strengthen your basics properly you need to know the entire logics okay fine so you understood that homogeneous easy right it's not difficult at all if you want you can take this screenshot okay now let's move on to the next thing that is the heterogeneous let's see the examples of heterogeneous now let's see four examples of heterogeneous error and rectify them but wait how do we identify heterogeneous error it's really simple when the question says recorded entered past and debit has gone into credit or credit has gone into debit okay opposite it's opposite to homogeneous yeah different boundaries are there over here yes now what are the steps that we need to follow see the steps are really simple the steps are same like homogeneous except the third step yeah third step is the new step yeah in homogeneous we had only two steps record what is right reverse what is wrong here we have one more step that is give effect in the party's account with the added amount now see here the party's account will be considered okay whether it will be a person or a company fine so see let's start with the first example and the universal tip always remember that always read the error or the transaction in two parts the correct part and the wrong part okay so see here sales to rise 1500 that's the correct part was recorded in purchase book recorded is the keyword first category is it heterogeneous or homogeneous it is heterogeneous how is that sales has credit balance purchase has debit balance so credit has gone into debit this is heterogeneous the boundary is different isn't it credit from credit boundary it is jumping to debit boundary is that clear yes now let's see the proof of this trick okay and then only we will you know move on with the, uh, the other examples okay so let's understand let's start with the proof now so see here heterogeneous trick 
proof with the conventional method correct entry wrong entry rectification entry so how this will work so let's pass the correct entry first what's the correct entry sales to rife 1500 simple entry rife account to sales 1500 1500 you all know that what is the wrong entry to pass the wrong entry you have to read the transaction properly always remember in the conventional method you have to read the transaction properly was recorded in purchase book so it was treated as a purchase right so purchase account debit to rife yeah purchase ha is an expense account it is increasing you have to debit and you have purchase from rife so rife is your what rife is your in this wrong wrong treatment rife is your creditor right if you are treating it as purchase then he will become creditor but actually in reality in reality rife is your debtor he is your asset okay so see here there's a big mistake over here isn't it yes entire transaction is wrongly recorded here in the correct treatment rife is debtor but in the wrong treatment what is happening rife is becoming our creditor is that clear yes so purchase account to rife that's the way this entry is saying that you know this transaction is saying it is being treated fine 1500 1500 now what would be the rectification entry now how do we pass the rectification entry it's really simple what we do is whatever effect that has gone right we do not touch that in rectification while passing this whatever effect that has gone right now in the previous example you saw in ajay we did not touch the ajay account because the effect went right over there but here here it's not like that see properly the effect is not right yeah all the effects are wrong so see properly what is happening in the wrong entry purchase account has been used it's entirely incorrect so we have to reverse this entirely purchase account which has debit balance it has been debited we have to reverse this to purchase account 1500 clear see it has been debited over here we will credit and cancel see whenever you want to cancel anything whenever you want to reverse anything in accounting what you have to do look for its balance which balance it has then do opposite it has debit balance credit and cancel that is that clear so purchase account debit balance was there yeah i mean purchase account has debit balance 1500 over here so credit 1500 and cancel that and then what you want to record you want to record sales which has happened so credit that to sales account 1500 sales has credit balance to record that you will you know credit that is that clear yes and then and then what happened over here understand properly this is the most crucial part the transaction which has happened over here is 1500 okay correct entry wrong entry is also 1500 but now why in rectification entry it's 3000 now directly you can understand two purchases has come two sales account has come so 1500 1500 so you have to take directly 3000 over here that you can directly understand okay just like that yeah because credit is 3000 then debit also has to be 3000 but now what is the logic of this what is the logic of this the logic you have to understand see it's really simple in the third step that's the thing you know give effect in the party's account with added amount let's just apply the trick right now only and then we'll come back to that okay so record what is right what is right sales is right isn't it sales is right yeah see here sales and purchase what is right in, in these two things what is right sales is right so record the sales two sales record the sales two sales 1500 what is wrong in these two things what is wrong wrong is this purchase so reverse that purchase has debit balance to reverse i will credit that to purchase account 1500 and then immediately you will come to know okay then what i have to do the third step give effect in the party's account who is party over here rife third party right rife give effect in the party's account with added amount what added amount added amount right so 1500 plus 1500 that's equal to 3000 rife account will be debited by 3000 is that clear but now what is the logic behind this added amount why are we debiting rife by 3000 it's really simple see here in the correct entry rife was supposed to be debited by 1500 debited by 1500 but in the wrong entry what happened what actually happened rife was credited by 1500 so remember understand properly first you have to bring the rife account to neutral first bring the rife account to neutral how will you do that you have to bring his account to zero this credit is there now credit to bring it to neutral you have to debit that reverse that reverse by 1500 it will become neutral and then what you need actually you need 1500 debit in rife account so 
again debit it by 1500 from neutral it will become debit balance of 1500 that's the logic rife account is entirely debited by 3000 first to remove this effect this wrong effect reverse this wrong effect by 1500 and then record the correct effect of this 1500 that is the logic let me just show you in the ledger account by the help of ledger account see here the correct accounting treatment should have been this yeah rife ledger account was supposed to be debited rife account debit to sales yeah rife account debit to sales rife account was getting debited yeah the amount should have come on the debit side in his ledger account but what actually happened it came on the credit side rife was treated as a creditor it came on the credit side as if we have made purchase from him but this is completely wrong so what we have to do what we have to do rife is our actually rife is our debtor yeah, we have sold goods to Rife now, sold goods to Rife. So, so what we have to do, what we have to do in the rectification, understand properly, you have to get the entire logic. See, in the wrong, in this scenario, amount is over here, 1,500. From here, you have to go over here. From here, you have to go over here. So first, you know, reverse this and bring it to neutral. Reverse this and bring it to neutral. How will you do that? You have to debit the Rife account, then only it will become neutral. It is right now over here debit this and then it will become zero it will become neutral and then and then debit it more by 1500 it will become debited debit balance yeah see here 1500 reverse this effect will be gone okay 1500 reverse this effect will be gone and then 1500 debit more yeah debit 1500 more and then what will happen rife there will be balance over here of 1500 net effect debit rife by 3000 1500 plus 1500 it's really simple see here see here for example let's say let's say let's say there is a number in math 10000 okay how will you make this 10000 positive how will you make this 10000 positive how will you do this if i just add plus 10000 what happens it becomes zero it becomes neutral and then if i add 10000 more then what happens then it becomes 10000 so in accounting also it's like that okay it had credit balance of how much 1500 okay credit balance of 1500 now what i have to do first debit by 1500 it became neutral zero and then debit it more by 1500 then it became 1500 is that clear this is the entire logic clear yes you got this now let's just you understood right now let's just move on okay let's see all the examples now now see here that same example you already know that right so sales to rife 1500 was recorded in purchase book so record what is right sales is right so credit that record that reverse what is wrong to purchase 1500 you have reversed the purchase account yeah i mean see your purchase is there now so you have to reverse that it has debit balance to reverse you will credit and then give the effect in the party's account with the added amount not double okay not double double is wrong if you say double then that's wrong 1500 plus 1500 that's equal to 3000 is that clear yes next transaction purchase goods from anita was recorded in sales book 2000 recorded is the keyword first category is it homo or hetero it is hetero why is that purchase has gone into sales purchase has debit balance sales has credit balance debit has gone into credit different boundary so this is heterogeneous follow the three steps so what are the three steps record what is right in these two things what is right in these two things what is right purchase goods from anita this is right so purchase is right record that record that purchase account debit you will debit the purchase account because you all know purchase has debit balance to record that you have to debit that so purchase account debit 2000 and then reverse what is wrong what is wrong in these two things sales is wrong yeah sales treatment was wrong so reverse the sales sales account debit 2000 clear yes we got that and then give the effect in the party's account with the added amount added amount so 2000 plus 2000 that's equal to 4000 to anita account 4000 is that clear easily you can do this now you were wondering why i refuse to say double and just added amount that's because of this third transaction read this third transaction see here purchase return of 5000 to sema was recorded as sales return 4000 now understand what has happened over here universal tip you know two parts read in two parts purchase return of 5000 to sema purchase return happened to sema that's the correct part of how much of 5000 
but what actually you know recorded in the books was recorded as sales return of 4000 the amount is also mistake over here yeah amount is also mistake and then credit debit that mistake is also there yeah so understand purchase return sales return recorded means first category first category and then homo or hetero purchase return has which balance credit balance sales return has debit balance isn't it you remember or you forgot see here purchase return has credit balance and sales return has debit balance purchase return credit balance sales return debit balance yeah opposite to purchase and opposite to sales so credit has gone into debit this is hetero transaction so what you have to do follow the three steps record what is right what is right over here in these two things what is right purchase return is right so credit the purchase return with this amount understand with this amount with this five thousand amount to purchase return five thousand purchase return has credit balance and this is the right thing correct thing so record that by crediting it to purchase return account five thousand and then and then what is wrong sales return is wrong sales return four thousand is there yeah sales return four thousand so reverse sales return by that four thousand yeah by that four thousand only not any other amount okay so how will you do that sales return has debit balance to reverse to reverse you will do opposite to sales return you will credit that to sales return it has debit balance you will credit and reverse it four thousand then what you will do in the third step give effect in the party's account with added amount added amount not double not double see your amount difference is there so if you do double if you take ten thousand then again you're making an error in rectification entry also you're making an error <laughs> so that is why what you have to do you have to add the amounts okay never say it's double five thousand plus four thousand that's equal to nine thousand so see my account will be debited by nine thousand is that clear yes next fourth transaction sales return by shivraj 600 the correct part was recorded in sales book recorded is the keyword first category home or hetero sales return debit balance sales book credit balance sales book means what sales account na credit balance sales return debit balance debit has gone into credit debit has gone into credit different boundary so uh, this is hetero so follow the three steps record what is right what is right in these two things sales return or sales account which is right sales return is right record that debit the sales return account it has debit balance to record you will debit sales return account debit 600 reverse what is wrong this is re this is wrong sales sales account is wrong reverse that it has credit balance to reverse you will debit that sales account debit 600 okay give the effect in the party's account in the shivraj account with added amounts added amount 600 plus 600 that is equal to 1000 200 is that clear so this way you have to solve this you understood now sales return was recorded sales account was reversed and the added amount effect was given in the shivraj account clear easy yes you got that so always follow this sequence only okay never directly give the effect or something like that always follow the sequence properly record what is right reverse what is wrong and then give the effect in the party's account with the added amount is that clear so this way you have to do this fine so you have understood till now what you have understood till now you have understood see here you have finished with the first category actually yeah recorded entered past we had two things homogeneous heterogeneous homogeneous means same boundary debit has gone into debit credit has gone into credit heterogeneous different boundary debit has gone into credit or credit has gone into debit okay here we have two steps record what is right reverse what is wrong here we have three steps record what is right reverse what is wrong and then give the effect in the party's account with added amount okay right and then what are we going to do now here i am finishing this first category of course conceptually we are finishing we'll come back to this in the practical questions okay in the illustrations and in the practical question fine uh, then we have this but before this we will see casting errors okay we'll see casting errors yeah the mistakes in totaling which happens in the subsidiary books that we'll see yeah in the you know purchase book sales book sales return book in the cash book and all those errors we will see and then we'll come back to this posted debited credited is that clear yes fine so that's it for this video i know this video has been very lengthy please bear with me okay this chapter is very important i have to you know cover it uh, together only i cannot you know cut the videos in parts and parts because it becomes difficult for you to understand all together fine so that's it for this video see you in the next video bye